Hey everybody, it's uh, 426 Mason here. I'm going to do a review of a 118 scale 1970 Chevelle SS Resto Mod. It's, um, it's in a dark green. Opening trunk, doors, and hood. Um, wheels do turn, but no, to turn away more than I thought. Okay. Um, this model was ninety dollars from GMP, but I bet you can find it anywhere else for cheaper or the same price. I'm not sure. All you gotta do just look around some. Okay, let's get into the details of this car. go with the front you can see the uh, year license plate from 1970 um, amazing headlights they actually look like what they did back in 1970 with that chrome ring around the dual headlights um, Chrome work is very nice out front. You can see the turn signals. There is a peg, but for the era of this car, it doesn't really matter if there's a peg because I think that uh, simulates a, like a light bulb. Um, let's go to the back. Whoop. Whee! Sorry. I'm... If you see there, there uh, that... Look, let me get it straightened out. It says zero 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 eight. That is the number of the production this car was in. I had the eighth car altogether. And now, what the look is that, right? Out of maybe a thousand, maybe. Um, yeah, it's a pretty sweet looking car, though. Ah, stupid nose. Let's get into the interior. Look at that. Beautiful steering wheel, beautiful shifter. There's a rev counter on the dashboard. And yes, it is a manual. Manuals are way better than automatics. The wheels are nicely done. Back here, this simulates dit or drum brakes. I think they did a pretty good job doing that. Up front, it is discs, but there's no brake caliper that I can see. That's the only flaw of this car. The only flaw. Dude, I bet you can find more, but yeah. I'm just love struck by this car. I have another one too, so. Okay, let's get into the engine. Let's get into the diamond and the goat's ass, so to speak. Ugh, there we go. Look at that. A beautiful 454. All wired and ready to go. I mean, this thing could probably run, too. That's how good this thing is. Is there a thing up top? Look at that. They actually gone through the effort to paint the underneath of this. It looks like heat-resistant paint. I mean, it's just... Now let's go to the trunk. A little bit easier to open. N nothing there. But there is, like... Huh. That's weird. Okay, let's close that down. Go underneath. Look at this. Simulation brake lines. That is amazing. Amazing job by them. This is 
sway bar right there. <laughs> this is just incredible work by them. Incredible. I mean, you can really see the frame. That is top notch by them. I mean, if you don't like this, then obviously you don't like. I mean, you probably don't like muscle cars, but just the styling of this car is amazing. I mean, take the fact the way it was made in 1970. It's just. Oh, what's this? Oop, if I can get this open. Ooh. Oh, it closed. Dang it. Give me a minute, guys. Here we go. Look at that. Even the air vent opens. The cowl air vent. That's just incredible. I mean, the other side you could probably get this from is Exact Detail. I'm not sure of the name. ExactDetail.com. Try that. Um... This car is just full on, full on greatness. When there's a couple of flaws, there's, um, there's no brake disc uh, calipers on the front wheel, but the only bad thing is there's no carpeting. There is up front, but there's not in the trunk. Um, the chrome's good, the wheels are good, um, the lights are good, in fact the lights are pretty dang perfect if you ask me. I mean I have the production car 8, So yeah, if you guys have any questions, comment them to me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Other than that, like and subscribe. Alright, thank you.